just wanted to show you something called uh, Grand Theft Auto Hot Pers um, San Andreas installed on Linux. Let's see if it works. So it's loading it up. Now I'm going to try to mute the volume on this thing because it has a lot of curse words and I don't want to have any issues with um, with the, um, the YouTube sensors. Here we go. I lower the radio and sound effects. There we go. Let's go back. Um, just to remind ourselves of the controls. Uh, vehicle controls. Foot controls. Okay. So to uh, aim, what do you press to aim? Delete. Crouch. Tab is action. Okay. You have to learn a lot of controls. Back. Back. Okay. Let's play. Start game. Well, let's do a new game here. And there we are. Now I'm seeing this full screen. I'm not sure whether you're seeing it full screen or not, or whether you're seeing the game shrunken. So you may have the uh, dev hack mod uh, screen on the side, but I have this uh, supposedly in full screen mode, and this is just the intro um, showing a gentleman uh, landing at the airport, getting a suitcase, and heading back home. So the rendering is not too bad. Uh, remember, this is an old game. So it looks a little choppy, but I'm still impressed on how it runs, and at least it doesn't need a very sophisticated graphics card to run. Um, I'm assuming there are no subtitles. Yeah, I don't see any subtitles, so that's fine. Uh, it'll, it's all audio. So there's going to be uh, some foul language, obviously, throughout this entire game. And uh, just not to flag any YouTube sensors related to that, I have it um, muted, uh, but still, it, it's a an interesting take on things as far as games go. Uh, definitely more involved in this version than the older Grand Theft Autos. So I'm running this on Linux, uh, Ubuntu. It installed no problem um, using Wine to emulate the uh, the system. And I believe um, he's going to be taken to taken to um, the police station. I'm not sure exactly what happens here, but uh, this is all rendered. Obviously, it's not a movie. Uh, that's just being rendered full time or real time, I should say. Oh, he's take. I remember he's taking. He's gonna be driving him to the bad side of town, or if there is a bad side of town, it looks like the whole town is bad. I'm. I see it's very choppy. I don't know why the car is not smooth running. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just a glitch in the system or not. But some scenes they're choppy and some are smooth. Like right now, the train looks very smooth, but before the police car looked a little choppy. Okay, so here we are. Now what's interesting in this game is it is quite open, uh, sort of open environment. You can wander around almost anywhere and interact with the characters and so on. Um, unlike other games which are much more closed, although there are objectives, missions so to speak, where you need to do certain things, otherwise um, you don't progress through the game. But they do recycle a lot of characters. I noticed uh, the pedestrians are all looking the same. And there's also some weirdness here when it comes to the uh, the trees. If you look up at the trees, um, they're rendered kind of weird. There's like some strange polygon, uh, you know, things overlapped with each other. All right, so here we are. We're gonna be uh, getting on that bike any moment now. There we go. So yeah, we can look up. You see how the trees look really odd? There's some blue kind of weirdness there. I'm not sure what that is in the back there too. 
All right, so anyway, let's get on the bike. We can walk over to this thing, and I believe you hit return. Okay, and now uh, to move. Oh, here we go. We have to steer. How do we move this thing? Um, pedal. No. Oh, there we go. We have to press W. Oi. I better get back. Uh, where am I supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to go to CJ. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It's a little bit tough to control, uh, to be honest, because I have to move my mouse around to try to look where I'm going. And uh, I have my arrow keys here, but uh, I can't pedal. I have to use W to pedal. So it's very uh, awkward on the PC, at least on my keyboard here. So um, because the the viewing uh, mouse uh, view doesn't work properly when you're touching the keyboard. It locks up the mouse for some strange reason. All right, but uh, yeah, let's keep going. Okay. So CJ, oi, probably not a good thing to put, jump off the bike. Here we go, let's get back on. Okay. Um, whoa, almost ran over that lady. Okay, here we go, over the bridge. And, oh, I remember, he's, he's underneath the bridge. He's on this side. Okay. Uh, how do we get to his house? Oh, we have to go this way. Oh, it does, it follows him, so you don't have to move around the view. Okay. Um, oh, this way. We have to get down the street in order to get to the, uh, under the bridge. Whoa. Here we go. Okay. Now I I watched some YouTube uh, things online to figure out where to go, but before I didn't see. There's three guys there that look identical. So this is it here. He's supposed to get to this spot right here. Okay, walk into the red marker to continue. Okay, so I got to get off the bike, and here I am. Okay, so here it renders another scene. It gives a background uh, information about what's going on there's a uh, some kind of a portrait that's been knocked down to the ground and this guy obviously looks worried about something I'm not listening to the audio so I'm not really sure what's going on but there's something so I mean it's uh, as compared to the older I mean the newer Grand Theft Autos I'm sure it's uh, less well the, the polygons are much less uh, refined but it's still a you know fairly fun game to play and so I look forward to going through it on Linux and seeing how it uh, it works you get to drive cars you you could also um, it's a first person game as well um, so you can it's you have racing you have first person you have some uh, uh, various tasks to do so it's, uh, it's quite a an interesting uh, combination of things to uh, and it's I'm not sure if it's available on Steam or not uh, but like I say with wine and play on Linux uh, you're able to play a lot of these games, usually older ones that aren't requiring uh, the latest graphical cards. Um, you know, they will run with basic graphics, which is what this is. This is an, uh, running on integrated Intel HD 4000. Um, it has no issues. Okay. So again, the, there's some kind of a scene here. A little bit weird um, weirdness going on with the rendering at the background. It looks almost like uh, things are are fuzzy. So they're arguing here. 
we're off to another uh, scene. A lot of dialogue. A lot of, uh, and not very pleasant dialogue. Okay, so there, okay, there's some kind of a cemetery it looks like here. Is uh, com pointing out a lot of his crew has died apparently. So they're trying to resolve that. Next next task, I guess, is oh I know this part. He's gonna there's gonna be a drive by. Oh, not good. Car just blew up. They're on their bikes. Conveniently, okay. Here we go. Hit on that. Okay, and now uh, let's see how this is gonna work. Okay, we're supposed to go on. Who are we following? Sweet. Oh, the blue marker. Okay. So there's a blue marker. There he is. You can do bunny hop by holding down left control, releasing it. Left control. Um, oh, there we go. I did that. Okay. I guess that's to ride up curbs or something. Okay, here we go. Boy, not good. Get on the bike. Where's the bike? Okay, let's get better back around. Hopefully not run into anybody. What? That guy's still trying to shoot me. Gee. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Okay, where is he? There. Okay. Is that guy supposed to be chasing them? Oh, that's them. There they are. Okay. Let's to keep going. Okay, we'll keep following. Here we go. Okay, I just bunny hop there. Where are we going? Okay. Following this guy. Wait. Gee, keep going. Alright. Down the stairs. Oi. Okay, here we go. Following them back. Uh, cycling skill upgraded. You can hop higher and can reverse at higher speeds without falling. Okay, good. Up this way. Let's see, can I hop higher? Let's try a bunny hop. Whoa. I don't want to fall into there. Oh wait, no, uh -oh, not good. I fell into this thing. Get out. Oh, oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, how do I get out of this thing? Uh oh, all right. Anyway, that's it for my uh, review. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this. Uh, oh, I jumped out. Okay, good. And let's follow Ryder. He's over here somewhere. Okay. Somewhere over here. So it's a like I said, the graphics are pretty good. I don't know if it's for if it's widescreen or not, or whether that's an option. Um, I didn't see it. It looks like it's only four three ratio. Um, so for now, I guess. Uh, uh oh, somebody's shooting at me. Not good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's not good. I better get going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. You gotta keep up with these guys. Okay, here we go. We're back. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to get to there. Off the bike and into there all right anyway that's it for now hope you enjoyed the review and uh, just a little insight into uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas running on Linux it runs perfectly fine 
and I look forward to playing more of this and seeing where it takes me. Thanks again for watching, and uh, be well, and hope you enjoy that video. Bye for now.